Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to look at what the person that you're thinking about, what they're saying about you to other people. <clears throat> what is the person that you're thinking about saying about you to other people? What are they saying? Spirit, give me some messages for Aries. Wow, okay. They're saying that you work very hard. They say that you you have it all together. This person feels like you have you have it all together. What else does this person say? What are, what are this person's thoughts about Aries? The lovers. Yeah, they care very deeply about you. You may not be aware of it. Um, but yeah, they care very deeply about you. They want some kind of new relationship with you. They feel like you could be their soulmate. Very interesting. <clears throat> Yes, you have the tower in reverse. So they definitely don't want you to change. They don't want you to change a single thing about yourself. They think they think you're perfect. But here's the but. They feel like you're extravagant. They also feel like you're very guarded like you guard yourself, like you're unapproachable. <clears throat> they feel like they don't have a chance with you. Maybe that's why this person may not have approached you yet. But yeah, I feel like this person feels like you're unapproachable, like you, you don't have enough time for them. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like they think that you're extravagant. They think that you spend way too much money. They think that you're out of their range as far as income goes. You may make more money than they do. Or you may put yourself together in a way that makes you look very wealthy, like you spend a lot of money to put yourself together. And a lot of us women do that. We do that. We put ourselves together with the makeup and the jewelry and we, you know, put on this show, so to say, but this person feels like you're out of their range, like you're not within their reach. They feel like you're very guarded. You're very held back. Yeah, they, they feel like this situation, <clears throat> they feel like they could sabotage this situation because they feel like they're not worthy of approaching you very interesting yeah definitely not enough so yeah this person feels like they can't give you what you need this person feels like they're not enough to meet your standards <clears throat> excuse me forgive me for my voice but they feel like they're not enough to meet your standards. They feel like they don't have the confidence to move in your direction. They don't have the confidence to ask you out. They have a lot of fear in this situation. Yeah, but they feel like the clock is ticking. They feel like they need to make a move, but they don't know how. 
They need more time to think things through. They need, maybe it's you that needs to make the first move if you're interested in this person um, because they, you have them scared to death, Aries. They feel like you are just put on a pedestal and you're way out of their reach. So if you're going to wait on this person, it's going to take some time. It's definitely going to take some time. They're going to have to build up their confidence in order to even approach you. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> what you don't see on the bottom, Aries, this person really cares about you. They want to give you some kind of keys. If it's the keys to their heart, moving in with them or um, keys to their car, but they want to give you the keys to something, Aries. Very interesting. Okay, let's take a look. What would this person say to Aries? <clears throat> If they got up the nerve enough to say it, what is on their mind for Aries? I'm starting to under, understand our connection. So, yeah, they have a very strong attraction to you. They have a very strong will to be close to you, but they don't have the confidence to do it. They, they lack the confidence to even approach you, to even text you, to even... Um, <laughs> slip you a note. This person is just not confident enough to approach you. And if you're waiting on them to have the confidence, like I said, it's going to take some time. And I knew exactly what I was doing. And I feel like they know exactly what they're doing when they said that they want you. When they said that they were talking about you. Um, they're telling their friends about you. They're telling maybe their co-workers if you work together in a situation because you do have this three of pentacles. Um, so this may be someone that you work with. This may be someone that you're around on a daily basis and they look at you. They may be having an eye on you and you're not even noticing it. But they know exactly what they're doing. And I feel like when they're talking about you, Aries, I feel like they are really trying to gain the confidence to move closer to you. And I feel like they may have said something to you. They may have approached you just on a day-to-day -day basis conversation. But I feel like even though that's a minute conversation in your eyes or in someone else's eyes, I feel like they replay your voice saying the words to them over and over in their mind. I feel like they're, they're just obsessing about you. They are nonstop thinking about you. <clears throat> yes, exactly. I remember every detail of that day and I feel like they remember every detail of the day they finally spoke to you because that took a lot of confidence for them to approach you to even say anything to you and I feel like they 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 feel in their mind in their mind they feel that that's a step forward but you may feel like it's just it's just another day you know, but I feel like to them, it was a really big accomplishment. <clears throat> yeah, what you don't see on the bottom, Aries, I want to be more than friends. So I feel like this is definitely someone who's in your circle, but you may or may not be aware of this person's feelings for you. Very interesting, Aries. Very interesting. Let's see, let's get some clarification on this. 
<clears throat> if Aries wants to pursue the situation, what steps should they take? The Nine of Swords in reverse. So Aries. I feel like, you know, <clears throat> I feel like there's not really too much you can say to get this person out of their shell. I feel like this person is just sabotaging the situation because they're too insecure to step to you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so I think in order for the situation to move forward, Aries, you would have to be the one to be assertive. You would have to be the one to make the first move. You would have to be the one that uses this knowledge to your benefit. But when you do approach this person, I feel like there's going to be a spark and they may gain a little bit of confidence because you have the chariot on the bottom. So I feel like you making the first move in this situation can provide the confidence that they need to move forward. I think that's just going to give them a big ego boost with you kind of pushing forward, being assertive. Okay. Very interesting, Aries. This is what I have for you about the person that you're thinking about. Um, tell me a little bit about this person. Oh, you got the lovers again. Hey, you got the lovers again. So you got the lovers twice. So this, this is definitely someone who really sees your situation going far. They really see a long-term situation with you, Aries. Do you have any idea who this person may be? If it's someone within your circle, someone you work with, yeah, but they're, they're <laughs> they are terrified to step forward. They're afraid that you are going to reject them. They're afraid that you're going to just push them to the side. <clears throat> like you're just going to cash them away. <clears throat> like dirty clothes <coughs> excuse me but yeah i feel like this person is very anxious about this situation yeah they're taking a lot of time to themselves <coughs> i feel like this person is really going into hermit mode because they feel like they're self-sabotaging the situation but they want to give you a lot. They want to give you a lot, Aries. Okay. You know what? This is what I have for Aries. So, um, if this reading resonates, hit that like button. Subscribe. Um, make sure to take a look at your other placements, your moon, your rising, Venus, for more uh, information. And love and light, Aries. Good luck to you.